While it's talking, Parrot escapes home and talks way back to find owner. Okay. Talking Parrot that escaped Cape Coral home talks his way back to owner. Little did they know this rare bird was lost and asking them for help. ABC 7's Gage Golding shows us That's how this so talking adorable. parrot Holy talks shit. his way back home to his owner. Call it their lucky day then. While the family was sitting out on their lanai enjoying a little drink after Easter dinner, they heard something over their shoulder. All of a sudden, I hear the camera work is superb. With a cocktail in my hand, I'm thinking to myself, he says, peekaboo, tickle, tickle, tickle. Give me that foot. Come here. <laughs> Give me Hello, that hi. foot. <laughs> well, today, he wasn't too talkative. <laughs> That's so fucking court, wholesome. Gage oh, my Golden, God. ABC That's so sweet. That's so cute. Moral of the story, teach your pets to talk. True. Yeah, parrots are super smart. What's, what are really smart are crows. Crows are, like, ridiculously smart. There's the recent Machiavelli and Mystic and Zyri. They teach their kids to hate, which is cool. Yeah, they have generational grudges. Where if you wrong a crow, it won't only hate you, it'll teach their kids to hate you. And their kids will teach their kids to hate you. It's fucking awesome. I don't know, Scoots. Maybe it's trying to tell you something. Crows are crazy smart only to be bested by a scarecrow. Does scare Do scarecrows even work? I feel like that's just like an old-timey myth that people keep up out of tradition now. I can't imagine that actually keeps them out of the field. Let me see. Stationary scarecrows may keep the crows away for a short period of time, but they quickly become used to them. Moving the scarecrows around every few days does help, but this can be labor-intensive. Modern scarecrows use technology to keep the birds away. What technology does it use? Tear gas or something? What do you mean? An annoying noise for it? Yeah, it seems it doesn't really do anything on its own. Pretty sure crows can talk too, can't they? Yeah. They can also smoke joints. He looks like he's wearing a shirt. <laughs> yeah, he kind of does. <laughs> he's got the wife beater on. True. Yeah. He's the resub Yoshi. If you feed crows long enough, they bring you gifts. Oh yeah, didn't... Uh, I'm, Pretty sure we watched the video on why crows do that. And the explanation is literally they start learning. Like, if they bring you something, they get something. Which is cool. He's a bit Spartan. And the resub. Sad kitty. I work at a theater and I had someone come up to me and say, Guardians was too confusing. I want a refund. What? Is that something you offer? Like, if you're too stupid to understand the movie, we'll give you your money back? What is that plan? I watched this whole movie and I didn't get it. Where's my money back? There's Risa Raymond in the Prime Falcon. How the fuck was Guardians confusing? I don't know, man. If you're getting confused by a Marvel movie... You, there, you gotta take a real hard look in a mirror. That, that's, that's like a sit down and think kind of moment. Check out magpie swooping in Australia. I'm very familiar with magpies. Jackson's talked about them before, so I've looked it up. They fucking go hog wild. They, oh, this is also where the meme comes from, by the way. I'm sure you've seen this on Twitter from time to time. This is a magpie just really attacking this poor kid. They're mean motherfuckers. Why do they do that? Oh, I have no idea. I, I don't know. I guess like just the changing of the season makes them real confident. Like, hey, we can beat these humans. 
They're very territorial. That no, that's. Worse. I don't even think that's it. They like just go out of their way <laughs> to attack people. My neck protection on. These things will draw blood. That's no lie. That old horror movie, Birds. Are you talking about the Burbs with Tom Hanks? I don't think I've ever heard of the Birds. Oh, it is a movie from 19. 52. It's a Hitchcock movie. Huh. Oh, 1963 is the Hitchcock movie. No, I don't think I've ever seen that one. Which director is your favorite? Um, I don't know. I don't know who my favorite director would be. Maybe Nolan. It's hard to say. I think probably Nolan. Moonfall director. Oh, Roland Emmerich? Maybe. Maybe. This guy's, this guy's got a beautiful mind. He really does. <laughs> he makes the goofiest fucking films ever. He's only made like two actually good movies. I know. That's the beauty of it. He's got like two decent movies. Like actually objectively decent movies. And then the rest is just wild schlock. It's so good. Was that Batman Forever? Did he, make, did he direct Batman Forever? I don't know. He's mainly known for Independence Day and then all the disaster movies ever made. Let me see. He did the 1998 Godzilla movie. Roland? Yeah, he did. I vaguely remember this movie. We had the VHS tape and it had Godzilla's foot on it and I thought it was so cool. This movie. You hear LeBron might retire? I mean, he's 38 years old. I'm sure it's something he's definitely considering. And if he ever logs on Twitter, he'll be like, Man, fuck you guys, I'm quitting just so I don't have to listen to this shit anymore. Yeah, I assume he's probably gonna retire soon. Maybe not, like, this year or anything, but soon.